going on everybody hope everyone's having a good day here uh, Mossy coming at you with a new video about how to play the one piece card game online so there's a few different steps that you're gonna have to take to play the game but once you have it it is completely free um, shout out to Batsu games for giving us the opportunity to actually play the one piece card game online right off the bat and um, Honestly, it's it's been great. It's it's great for testing. It's great for just getting on, playing a couple games. Um, I've never had a problem finding a match. So uh, the more we can build to the community and get people online playing, um, it's just another way that we can play the game. So it's been great, and I know a lot of people are interested and have been asking um, how do we play it online, and we're gonna show you in this video right here. So um, just to start, if you're on uh, the Soul King Crew page we took the google drive that um the creator made and put it on the about tier so um in the description below if we're going to shout out um batu games and the creator of one piece sim because um it re it's really amazing what they were able to do um and they're constantly updating it as well so what you could do is you just highlight the link here under the OP Sim if you right click it, or you can just copy and paste it in, in your URL. It's gonna bring you to a Google Drive, and there's a bunch of different downloads for the game. So there's Android, iOS, um, Linux, Mac, and Windows. So for me, I'd be picking on Windows here. You're gonna click download, it's gonna say this, you're gonna download it anyway. Um, you'll see down here in the bottom that it's downloading. After this is download, this is going to open a file, and you want to have a folder where you're able to extract the files to. So we'll click on this and open. We're going to have two folders that we need to extract into a folder on our desktop. So that's the reason that we created the new folder if we needed to. For me, I just made a folder on my desktop, and once you click the option to extract, it should create a folder for you if you don't have one. So we'll right click on one and go to extract to specified folder. I apologize that you're not able to see this. I can't figure out how to move um, the zip folder off my second monitor. But it will look something like this. So for me, you can click an option on where you want this to be downloaded. Alright, I could just click on desktop and click OK. Then, since I already have the files on my computer, um, it starts with this one, right? It's a, a couple different options. I modified it a couple days ago um, because they updated the game. Um, you'll have the option to ec or, um, extract them to your folder. Okay, once the extraction is complete, you'll be able to do the same thing for the second file. All right, so there's just gonna be two different folders. You'll be able to download them, okay, wherever you need to. I might just have the, them on my desktop. After they're downloaded and you open the file location, it should look something like this. Just double check to make sure that you have all of these files downloaded and extracted. So it's going to be Unity Player, uh, both Unity Crash Handlers, the patch notes, the actual application to play the game, the OPTCG Sim, then the, the game data. This is just a new folder that I put it uh, put everything into. All right, this is just stuff for the game to run and then this is a bunch of different decks that they start you off with and then it has some of my own decks that I added because once you add decks in game it'll add it to the deck folder so once you have these extracted you'll be able to double click on OP sim you'll see the opening Batsu games shout out Batsu games thank you so much for making this game and we also if this is gonna bring us to the um, opening screen here so it's gonna look like a little like kind of tabletop opening in the top right here. You can mess with the sound. So if you want to listen to a little bit of 
some low fi one piece you can um, you can also change some of how the game operates or um, your your name as well if you're first starting I think it's important to check off um, confirm to end your turn and confirm to attach Dawn since everything's going to happen in the bottom right hand corner of the screen you don't want to like accidentally double click and then you end your turn and it kind of messes up the whole game for you so highly recommend starting with the confirm Dawn and confirm end turn because once you attach the Dawn in this game and once you end your turn right, you can't get it back um, here on the left side of the screen we can go into deck editor this is also a great way for new players to learn the card pool you can click any of the colors here and it's going to come up with any of the cards from set one two or three in that color or in that color pool so you'll have the events at the bottom all the character cards in the middle and the leaders will be here at the top all right if you wanted to look at two colors at the same time it'll start with one of the colors um, as you scroll down, it'll go to the opposite color. So you can see that. You'll be able to look here on the side, load some of the options that they give you off the start. If you wanted to just kind of go in there and test something off the rip, just to kind of see how the game plays. And that's also fine. But if you wanted to also create your own deck, Right, you can look for a leader you're interested in. Say you wanted to test Whitebeard, you'll be able to just right click on the card here and it'll start adding it and you'll be able to have a total of 51, right? Or 50 including your le your leader. Um, so if we wanted to play for Whitebeard, we could click on this, it'll have four and then we can also left click to mess with the ratio of the card. So kind of have fun going through all the cards, making a deck that you're interested in. And you can try pretty much everything. That's why it's great. And it's free, so can't beat that. So you definitely want to give the, the credit to the creator and show support to them as well, because just giving us the option to play this game online is, is amazing. All right, going into multiplayer, this is where you're going to play your matches. All right, um, you can ref refresh the lobbies to see if there's anybody playing. If you wanted to just host your own public game, that'll come up here. You could type something in the description. Say you wanted to play OP2 testing. You put something like OPO2 test, right? Click host a public game and then somebody can join that way. You can um, pick which sets you want to allow into your game. So if you don't want to play against OPO3, you don't want somebody hopping in your, in your game with a big mom deck that you've never seen before, right? You just want to test OPO2, you can kind of click those off, which is a nice addition as well. You can change your deck up in the left corner here, um, drop down a little bit if you want to host a private game between maybe you and somebody on your Discord, or just you and a friend are hanging out, or maybe you're running your own little tournament. It's the perfect way to do that. You can just copy the code to the clipboard, and then whoever you're playing against will be able to paste it right here and join with the game code. So it's a way to have your own little private match, which is nice as well. So hopefully that helps everyone, and hopefully um, you're able to get those files extracted over. Just make sure that you have everything you see here, and your game should run perfectly. Um, it is version 1.15b currently, so just double check on the drive that it is that before downloading. Um, and hopefully we see you on the ladder. Definitely look out for the SKC guys. Um, if you see something you want to get some testing in, let us know that you're a fan. Um, and we could definitely hang out, maybe get some videos done, maybe just get some testing in with these new OPO2 decks and see what works, see what doesn't, um, and kind of figure out the meta together. So thanks again for checking out the videos here. Um, sorry that we're still kind of under the weather. I know it was a little more of a laid back video, but we'll be coming um, back with another gameplay video later today for you. So. Uh, stay tuned. Let us know how you've been liking the gameplay videos. Maybe um, we're trying to see what's been working, what hasn't been working. So if you're enjoying the slower games with more of a breakdown, more of a commentary, um, let us know that you prefer that. Or if you like something a little bit quicker with some faster commentary, um, 
on like the more competitive side of things, we could definitely talk about that too. So I've been loving the comments and the feedback. Definitely keep it coming. Definitely keep supporting the channel and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks a lot. How's it going everyone? Thanks again for stopping by and checking out the content here at Soul King Crew TCG. Hopefully this video helps you get online and it gives you the ability to play the One Piece Sim with us. Um, just a friendly reminder that we are shooting for that 500 sub goal now. Uh, we are thinking of a new prize to give away for our 500 sub goal giveaway. So stay tuned for that. Much more OPO2 content coming your way. Thanks a lot.